Robinson as many soldiers said slavery is not bad. In the pornographic forums, Robinson revealed his unvarnished thoughts on issues such as race, gender, and abortion. Writing in a forum discussing black Republicans in October 2010, Robinson stated, unprovoked, I'm a black Nazi. The same month, Robinson wrote in another post that he supported the return of slavery. Slavery is not bad. Some people need to be slaves. I wish they would bring it, slavery back. I would certainly buy a few, he wrote. Well, uh, yeah, I mean, in terms of uh, things that'll bury you as a conservative, it doesn't get much worse than that. Again, though, I wonder why do this in horny posting? Like, why not separate those two worlds? This morning I saw this. Mark Robinson under pressure to withdraw from the gubernatorial race. North Carolina Republicans are bracing Thursday morning as word spreads about a damning new story looming regarding Lieutenant Governor Mark Robinson. Sources with direct knowledge have spoken with Carolina Journal on the condition of anonymity and said that Robinson is under pressure from staff and members of the Trump campaign to withdraw from the governor's race due to the nature of the story, which they say involves activity on adult websites in the 2000s. According to sources, Robinson has resisted withdrawing and privately denies the story. In an email to Carolina Journal shortly before the story posted, Michael Lonergan, communications director for Mark Robinson uh, campaign wrote whomever the sources here it is complete fiction thursday evening is the state uh, state deadline to withdraw from the race the deadline to remove robinson's name from the ballot already passed there are just four weeks to go until early voting and the absentee ballots are due to the mail friday this made me super curious i was like what could it be because this is a guy who's already quoted hitler and like got away with it quoted hitler doubled down on quoting hitler and that apparently wasn't enough to get ousted from you know maga's good graces but if it's something involving porno, ooh, then the whole game changes. Then all of a sudden it's like, oh, yeah, what could it be? I saw speculation uh, that it could involve feet. Uh, confirming all of this from what I've heard, this one's a real doozy and pertains to comments Robinson made in online chat rooms. Though the story could be about something else as well. Republicans across the state are waiting with bated breath for the story to drop. Uh, there's major drama. It's shaking out uh, in North Carolina's gubernatorial race. He might be the first candidate to drop out for showing feet in racial chat rooms. I don't know if that's true, but we do have the story now because it has dropped. So from CNN headline, quote, I'm a black Nazi. NC gubernatorial nominee for uh, governor made dozens of disturbing comments on a porn forum. Oh, my. Mark Robinson, the controversial and socially conservative Republican nominee for governor of North Carolina, made a series of inflammatory comments on pornography website message boards more than a decade ago, in which he referred to himself as a black Nazi and expressed support for re uh, reinstating slavery, a CNN K-File investigation found. Despite a recent uh, history of anti-trans rhetoric, Robinson said he enjoyed watching trans pornography, a review of archive messages found in which he was also referred to himself as a, quote, perv. Yet another uh, chaser for the uh, the chaser... Rolodex there. The comments, which Robinson denies making, predate his entry into politics and current stint in North Carolina's lieutenant governor. They are made under the username that CNN was able to identify as Robinson by matching a litany of biographical details and a shared email address between the two. Many of Robinson's comments were gratuitously sexual and lewd in nature. They were made between 2008 and 2002 on, quote, Nude Africa, a pornographic website that includes a message board. The comments were made under the username Mini Soldier, a moniker Robinson has used frequently online. Robinson listed his full name on his profile for Nude Africa, as well as an email address he used numerous times uh, across other websites on the internet for decades. CNN is reporting only a small portion of Robinson's comments on the website given their graphic nature. So, uh, obviously, uh, you know, the show is for 18 plus. I'm going to now reveal the ones that apparently are safe enough to be seen on CNN. So, here we go. Uh, trans wrestler Mark Beggs wins second Texas State Girls Championship. So, violence against women is now a sport. And there's the association between Mini Soldier and Mini Soldier showing the connection between his Facebook handle, his Pinterest, and his YouTube, uh, which connects to Black Planet, the Mini Soldier account. Many of Robinson's comments on Nude Africa stand in contrast to his public stances on issues such as abortion and trans rights. Publicly, Robinson has fiercely argued that people should use bathrooms only that correspond to the gender they were assigned at birth. He's also said that trans women should be arrested uh, for using women's restrooms. If you're a man on a Friday night, and all of a sudden Saturday, you feel like a woman, and you want to go into women's bathrooms in the mall, you will be arrested, or whatever we gotta do to you. Robinson said at a campaign rally in 2024, we're gonna protect our women. Yet privately, under the username Mini Soldier on Nude Africa, Robinson graphically described his own sexual arousal as an adult from the memory of secretly peeping on women in public gym showers as a 14-year-old. 
Oh, he's a peeper, is he? Robinson recounted the story as a memory he said he still fantasizes about. I came to a spot that was a dead end, but had two big vent covers over it. It was just so happened that it overlooked the showers. I sat there for about an hour and watched as several girls came in and showered, Robinson wrote, on Nude Africa. CNN is not publishing the graphic details of Robinson's story. I went peeping again the next morning, Robinson wrote, but after that, I went back to the ladder and it was locked. So those two times were the only times I got to do it. Ah, memories. In other comments on Nude Africa, Robinson discussed his affinity for trans pornography. I like watching the tea slur on girl porn. That's fucking hot. It takes the man out while leaving the man in, Robinson wrote. And yeah, I'm a perv too. See, this right here, this is what gets you kicked out of MAGA. This, this is when all of a sudden they're like, oh, yeah, we don't fuck with you anymore. No, uh, <laughs> no, you confess to the dark secret that we all have, but aren't allowed to say out loud. So in an interview on CNN on Thursday, Robinson repeatedly denied that he made the comments on Nude Africa. This is not us. These are not our words. And this is not anything that is characteristic of me, Robinson said. Presented with a litany of evidence connecting him with the mini soldier username on Nude Africa, Robinson said, I'm not going to let the minutia of how somebody manufactured this, these salacious tabloid lies. I like that too. It's like, so this is you, right? No, 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 that's definitely not me. This was all manufactured years ago to be able to, I guess, destroy my political career. Okay, well, so here's the evidence showing that this is your account, has the same email, has the same username, posting at the same times. So we got time codes, just an overwhelming amount of evidence. Look, I don't want to get into the details, all right, the, uh, of how this whole conspiracy came about, but I do want to say, definitely not me. I would never think or say such things. CNN reached out to Robinson Tuesday morning, uh, sorry, yeah, Tuesday with the evidence connecting him to the comments on Nude Africa. It took his campaign two days to respond and issue a denial. During his interview with CNN, Robinson repeatedly said the issues that faced North Carolinans were more important than what he called tabloid trash. And he steered the conversation towards attacking his opponent in the race, Democrat Josh Stein, the state's attorney general. We are not getting out of the race. There are people who are counting on us to win this race, Robinson said. A history of controversial statements. Campaigning for lieutenant governor in 2020, Robinson advocated for a complete abortion ban without exceptions. He later expressed regret in 2022 for paying for his now wife to have an abortion in the 1980s. Funny how that keeps happening. Now campaigning for governor, he says he supports the so-called heartbeat bill that would ban abortion when a heartbeat is detected approximately at six weeks with exceptions for rape, incest, and health of the mother. So nice of you. But writing as mini soldier on Noon Africa in December 2010, Robinson said he did not care about a celebrity having an abortion. Quote, I don't care. I just want to see the sex tape. Robinson wrote. In another thread, commenters considered whether he believed the story of a woman who said she was raped by her taxi uh, driver while intoxicated. In response, Robinson wrote, and the moral of this story, don't fuck a white E. Robinson, who would become North Carolina's first black governor if elected, also repeatedly maligned civil rights leader Martin Luther, uh, Martin Luther King Jr., attacking him with such intense terms that a user accused him of being a white supremacist. <laughs> Uh, get that fucking commie bastard off the National Mall, Robinson wrote about the dedication to the Memorial of King in Washington, D.C. by then-President Barack Obama. I'm not in the KKK. They don't let blacks join. If I was in the KKK, I would have called him... Wow, I don't think I can say these words. CNN reporting on Robinson's comments comes a few weeks after the assembly. A North Carolina digital publication reported Robinson frequently local video pornography shops in the 1990s and 2000s. Ooh, you liked going in and, and picking select videos, did you? Yeah, that's interesting. He called the story false and a complete fiction. Despite earning the full endorsement of former President Donald Trump and the North Carolina Republican Party, Robinson faces an uphill battle in the race for governor against Stein. Robinson's history of controversial remarks include mocking school shootings revivers, uh, uh, supporting total abortion bans without exception for rape or incest, disparaging civil rights movements, and uh, public polling shows Robinson is still losing to Stein. Uh, on Nude Africa website, in both comments and his profile, Mini Soldier offered numerous details that align precisely with Robinson's personal history. In his profile, Mini Soldier listed the name as Mark Robinson and disclosed a private email address Robinson used elsewhere online. In 2012, a user responded to a comment by calling Mini Soldier Mark. Mini Soldier mentioned in 2008 is married for 18 years, which corresponds with Robinson's marriage to Yolanda Hill in 1990. In 2011, Mini Soldier wrote that he had been married for 21 years. Mini Soldier wrote in 2011 posts that he lived in Greensboro, North Carolina, the same town where Robinson lived at the time and currently lives. Biographical data shared by Mini Soldier Online lines up with Robinson's details. Uh, evidence is here if you want to go through it piece by piece. Yeah, the, the posting dates, same dates. 
In a post in 2012, many soldiers said that he served in the army in the 1980s during that time period as Robinson. In his sexually graphic comments detailing watching women in showers in 2011, many soldiers wrote that his mother worked at a historically black college and university, uh, HBCU. Robinson's mother worked as a custodian at North Carolina AT and T or A and T State University and HBCU located in Greensboro. Both Media Soldier and Robinson often posted the same topics online, including reviews for remote control helicopters, their attraction to specific celebrities, and their favorite Twilight Zone episode. The email address associated with Mini Soldier. So for him to discount this as being falsified, this is a malicious rumors started by some third party. The amount of stuff that you would have had to have done here. The patience, like this makes the, the serial killer in Seven uh, look, you know, like some kind of trigger happy uh, freak in comparison. If, if you had the patience to plant and do social media for a person who is not yet a political figure years, almost a decade before they become a political figure, uh, post all these, you know, disgusting things on porn forums and stuff like that, uh, using accounts that had the same email address that you were using for your own personal email, uh, that connect all the dots between all the dates, the names, locations, your, your history, then sit back and wait. Just wait until 2024, 2024, when all of a sudden you can unleash all of these little scams, you know? It's, it's, it's like, it, it's utterly absurd. Same thing when like Russell Brand is like, oh, all these stories have been planted. It's like, the, these are stories, so what, you, you just were a complete like creep your entire life? You were a decade of being a fucking creep ass, you know, alleged pedophile. But then just decades later, the stories come out because the victims wanted to tell the truth about it. But that was planted to take you down because you were telling too many truth bombs on YouTube which were the same things that you could hear from anyone else, including Joe Rogan, etc. Like, yeah, it's, it's way too much work to fake. Uh, usernames and email addresses from Discus were placed and leaked online in 2017, according to the company. CNN confirmed that Robinson's username Mini Soldier on Discus shared the same email address as the one used on Nude Africa. Robinson's Discus page has been linked to a black social network called Black Planet. The web archive shows a name Mini Soldier describing themselves as a 40-year-old. In 2009, that was the exact same age as Robinson. Uh, it's the same username that Robinson has used in other places. Uncommon phrases that are only used by Mini Soldier, uh, such as frogs fat ass, frogs fat ass, frogs fat behind. Uh, I don't give two shakes, don't give two shakes. Uh, maggot, gaga maggot, uh, denderhead, uh, denderhead again. Robinson as Mini Soldier said slavery is not bad. In the pornographic forums, Robinson revealed his unvarnished thoughts on issues such as race, gender, and abortion. Writing in a forum discussing black Republicans in October 2010, Robinson stated, unprovoked, I'm a black Nazi. The same month, Robinson wrote in another post that he supported the return of slavery. Slavery is not bad. Some people need to be slaves. I wish they would bring it, slavery back. I would certainly buy a few, he wrote. In March 2012, Robinson wrote that he preferred the former leader of Nazi Germany, Adolf Hitler, over the leadership in Washington during the administration of Barack Obama. I'd take Hitler over any of that shit in Washington right now, he wrote. Robinson's comments on Nude Africa often frequently contain derogatory and racial slurs directed at black, Jewish, and Muslim people. In a series of posts on October 2011, Robinson disparaged Martin Luther King. We already read a handful of those things. Uh, he used anti-Semitic slurs. There you go. Uh, while discussing the Taliban, he referred to Muslims as, there's more slurs for you. Uh, he used homophobic slurs frequently, called the users the F-slur. In a largely positive form, discussing featuring a photo of two men kissing after one returned from military deployment, uh, he wrote, that's some old sick ass F-slur bullshit. Well, uh, yeah, I mean, in terms of uh, things that'll bury you as a conservative, it doesn't get much worse than that. Again, though, I wonder why do this in horny posting? Like, why not separate those two worlds? Why, why not be like, so, you know, I'm not going to kink shame you if you're someone who wants to participate in porn forums. Go have at it. But maybe separate the two worlds, right? Like one place could be for your sexy uh, inclinations, all right, then that's where you post on that kind of stuff. And then you could have a different one, a different account even, for you posting all of your super racist, I'm pro-Hitler, pro-KKK, pro-slavery, I'm a black Nazi stuff. You could do all that in a different uh, you know, forum or something. But uh, yeah, the gooners just get too strong. That could be it. I don't know if these are combined, maybe. I mean, you know, that more of an insight into someone's own uh, psyche than I ever wanted to know. So that could have something to do with it. 
I think a very powerful takeaway is yet again, I, I don't know if this is case number, you know, 4,362 of someone who targets LGBTQ plus people and is also sexually attracted to them. That seems to be a very frequent f uh, theme with Republicans, uh, either closeted Republicans or uh, Republicans who spend all day vilifying trans people. And then, uh, you know, when you know, there's, there's like Joe Rogan is an example of someone who does it openly. He will vilify trans people all day. And then when one of his friends is like, hey, do you watch trans porn? He's like, oh, yeah, I love trans porn. Trans porn is fucking amazing. You get it all. You get penises. You get women. Uh. So it's like, all right, we got yet another chaser. So we got a bunch of people who are sexually obsessed with the very people that they are trying to actively oppress which i'm sure maybe plays into the kink uh, and the fetish of it as well but um yeah that's one of the reasons the term is is uh, applied to these particular freaks and sickos is because you can on one end talk about how you consider them to be inhuman uh, how you want to oppress them how uh, you want to enact policies that in many way can result in uh, trans people uh you know dying um and at the same time uh, you know profess how sexually attracted you are to them uh, while trying to make their lives horrifying. That part is, you know, really, really fucking gross. But, uh, yeah, I don't know if the fallout will be swift. I guess we'll see. This just all broke today. Hey, if you'd like to unlock secret bonus episodes as well as uncensored content, go to patreon.com slash theserves. This show is produced by Anna Loves Riley, Arian McCarthy, Cheryl Alvarez, Comrade Junkie, Doug Caddy, Everything Important, Hagbard Salim, Jimmy Sombrero, Multimondi, Omni, Political Puppy, Preston Kroll, Kawhi185, Riley and Anna, Roller Dragon, Cernicus, Stellar Gwyn, Sebastian Demel, Travis McClinton, Trincel, Words Greenwood. With additional support coming from all of these amazing human beings right here.